Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Saroj Prajli. Today I'll be talking about the composition and the structure of DNA, commonly known as deoxyribonucleic acid. Modern double helix DNA structure was discovered by Watson and Crick. Today I'll be talking about the composition and two different structure of DNA. First, I'll go through different components of DNA. So, I'll be talking about sugar, phosphate, and different bases, including pyridine and pyrimidines. And second, I'll be talking about the molecular structure of DNA. And third, I'll talk about the chemical structure of DNA. First, let's start with different compositions of DNA. DNA is composed of three different components, sugar, base, and phosphate. A nucleoside is mixed of sugar and a base and when we add a phosphate group to nucleoside then it becomes nucleotide. Therefore a nucleotide has all three components sugar, base and phosphate bond. So let's talk about the sugar that is present in the DNA. The sugar that is present in the DNA is deoxy ribonucleate sugar and it is a pentose sugar its chemical formula is C5H10O4 it is a 5 carbon ring and it forms the backbone of DNA by combining with phosphate group this is a chemical structure of deoxyribose sugar it contains 5 different car carbon carbon number 1 second carbon third carbon, fourth car carbon and this is finally the fifth carbon. So if we see the structure then at carbon 2 instead of hydroxyl group it has only hydrogen. However in RNA there is a ribose sugar and it has hydroxyl group. However in DNA it lacks one oxygen. Therefore, it is called deoxyribose sugar. Same like ribose sugar, but it lacks one oxygen. The second component of the DNA is base, and it is nitrogenous base containing nitrogen element. And there are two different kind of nitrogenous base. The first one is purine, and the second one is pyrimidine. Purine has two different nucleotide adenine and guanine while pyrimidine has three different nucleotide cytosine thymine and uracil thymine is present in dna while uracil is present in rna so let's start with the structure of purine and pyrimidine purine is nine membered double ring structure while pyrimidine is single ring and six membered structure so for purine this is position one position two position number three position number four position number five position number six seven eight and nine so adenine has amine group NH2 at 6 carbon position while guanine has amine group at 2nd carbon position. Coming to the structure of pyrimidine, this is position 1, position 2, position 3, position 4, position 5 in position 6. Cytosine has amine group at 4th position of the carbon and while thymine has alkyl group at position number 5. However, uracil doesn't have any amine or acetyl group. The third component of the DNA is phosphate group. In phosphate group, one phosphorus atom 
is bonded to four different oxygen atoms and it has two negative charges. One phosphate group is bound to two different deoxyribose sugar, one to three prime of the deoxyribose su sugar, one, two, three, four, and five. So one phosphate group is bound to this location and other phosphate group is bound to this five prime location. These are the three different components of DNA. Next we'll talk about the molecular structure of DNA. So this is a molecular structure of DNA. Here we'll be talking about the double helical structure that was discovered by Watson and Crick. So according to Watson and Crick, double helical 3D structure of DNA. The DNA, the two DNA strands are wound, wound to each other in a right-handed manner and they are anti-parallel to each other. That means one strand runs from 5 prime to 3 prime while the other strand runs from 3 prime to 5 prime. The backbone is formed by sugar and phosphate. So the sugar plus phosphate, it forms the backbone of the double helix. One complete turn of the DNA helix is 3.4 nanometer in length or 34 angstrom. And there are 10 base pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. There are 10 base pairs in one complete run that makes 34 angstrom and the distance between two base pairs is 3.4 angstrom or 0.34 nanometer in length. And two strand of DNA, the gap between two strand of DNA is 20 angstrom in diameter. Finally, we will talk about chemical structure of DNA. In the chemical structure of DNA, this is a sugar group, this is phosphate group, and there is one nitrogenous base. This forms one nucleotide. So this is one nucleotide. It has phosphate group, it has sugar, and it has a base, it is adenine. So if we go on adding the base and the phosphate group, so this is one nucleotide, it has phosphate group, sugar, and adenine, adenine base. And another nucleotide is G. It has phosphate group, sugar, and guanine base. Similarly, for three base, one base, two base, and three base. Similarly, this is the final structure for all four different base. It forms one base adenine, second base guanine, third base cytosine, and the fourth base thymine. Let's move forward. So this is a single chain of DNA. So if we make two different strands, then it will be like this. So this is a chemical structure of DNA and single chain runs from 5 prime to 3 prime and the other run other chain runs from 3 prime to 5 prime so this is one base and this is other complementary base so this makes one base pair similarly this two makes another base pair this two makes another base pair and this two makes another base pair. This is adenine and thymine base pair with two different hydrogen bond. And this is cytosine and guanine with three different hydrogen bonds. So this is the overall chemical structure of DNA. To summarize this lecture, we talked about different components of DNA, including sugar, phosphate group 
and nitrogenous base purine and pyrimidines we also talked about the molecular structure of dna and also the chemical structure of dna thank you so much for watching this video if you like my content and want to learn more about molecular biology genetics genomics and genetic engineering please subscribe to my channel and like comment and share this video in your community thank you so much for watching and helping this channel grow thank you and see you in next video